Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we will go to talk about how we can load multiple files, flap files, uh, in one uh, table. So, for example, I'm going to show you guys. I have here multiple flap files that I create just for this example. Let me search it here. See guys, I have three uh, different tables. Each table has uh, own uh, data, which is I have three columns. Uh, the first table, it's contain one, two, uh, count, uh, row count, uh, th second one, three, four, and the fourth one, it's five, six. So each table has uh, two records. In total, I have six records. What I need is I need to loop my uh, my process into all these uh, sources, all these tables, and load them to destination. So I have here my destination will be this empty table that I created for this example. So I need to see all these three uh, sources that are loaded here from one all the way to six. Let me come here. I'll go create a new package. Let me name it load uh, multiple flat files. Okay. So I need to just name. Make sure to leave the suffix. Mul load multiple flap files okay so first of all uh, I need to create first the path my let me check my path is right here double click you need to copy the whole path for one of the uh, of the tables so double just double click on it and either minimize it close it doesn't matter, just like slash, it's right here. So go back and copy and come right here and create the file path, which is here. String will be this one will be. We will use it, this file path letter, so we can direct our uh, for each loop to this file path. And what I need here is for each loop container, which is it will going to loop over all my uh, data or all my tables. Double click, go here, and just paste your path here make sure to cut or yeah to cut the last the name of the source and paste it here okay dot txt so what i did is i just uh delete the number because the number it will be for me it's dynamic this one it will be static the table underscore so the table underscore one two and three so what i did is only call the path plus the table and this is what i have to add you know this is the suffix and the table underscore this is star which is this will be uh, a dynamic for me that'll be a change for me um, now you have to go to the variable from the variable select the file path so it will be dynamically uh, selected now I am finished with uh, for each loop press OK and what you need now is to create a data flow the data flow will be only for one loading one table. 
you know so here let's come to the source this is my source and I'm not creating the, the connection manager yet so I'm going to create from here go to the new and go to browse select any one of the tables so I'll go to columns make sure everything is uh, selected right press OK and OK this is the source the destination will be my table I'm not created here so I have to go to the new press OK it's either or and select your server name it's validated all right it's taking time taking time let's see once you are selecting your uh, your server from here you have to select your uh, database and then you know if you want to test your connection you can here the server and my database called simple tag just to make sure the test is connection is right so now I connected make sure here to choose the table the table will be for each table now let's go to the mapping and see everything is mapped right so now if I execute only this task it will be loading on for me only one table the first table only but what I need is the all three tables so the for each loop it will loop all for me to all the tables one last step you have to do is go here to your flat file connection manager right click properties and make sure go to the expression in expression in a property select connections to string and ex in expression make sure to drag and drop the file path this is my file path press ok make sure you will you know figure out here uh, the fx here the fx that's mean the expression it's been uh, enabled now I am good to go to execute my uh, package let me see it's supposed to loop to all the three uh, sources it was blinking three times but it was fast so now let me go here and execute it here I see all my uh, tables that's been one two three four five six simply order by ID to be easy for you guys to read it so you guys see now all my flap files be loaded to a destination uh, um, in a single process which is uh, safe for me the time I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching my video and see you for next videos thank you